So I just recorded the other video like 20 minutes ago and I was rewatching it just because I like to rewatch it. I'm trying to stop my ums and uhs. I was rewatching it and and I realized I have this unquenchable need to qualify that I know that I'm not special in my struggles. And I think that's weird and probably not mentally healthy. It's okay to struggle just because your struggles are not unique. It doesn't mean that they aren't struggles. Like on almost every one of these, I've been like, oh, and I know this isn't special. I know this isn't like unique to me, but I just felt like talking about it or whatever the hell. And I don't think that's healthy, right? So I need to work on that. I need to work on being okay with having normal struggles. This is really off the wall. I just walked out here to record this. Um, but yeah. Do I have anything else to say on it? I'm not sure. Why do I do it? I, it's not like anybody is watching these back. Like, it's, these are just for me. Um, so it's, it's definitely something that I do in my day-to-day -day life as well. I constantly remind myself that I am not special, that I am not unique, that my issues are not they don't, they don't like make me different. And I don't mean this in a negative way either. It's, uh, I'm not like putting myself down, you're not special, Dan. That's not it. It's more so like, I think a fear of people thinking, just in my day to day life, a fear of people thinking that I have the, not martyrdom syndrome, like, just like the mom who wants their kid to be special ed so they can almost brag about it, you know? Um, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to like seem like I'm bragging about my own struggles. I think that's where it come, comes from, right? Because I realize that I'm a very privileged person um, in every respect from the basics of my penis and my white skin um, to my wonderful parents who are amazing, who I should make a video about that. I'm gonna do that. See, I'm just they're coming out. Gotta make a video about how I love my parents, but treated me great. I grew up, all things considered, generally wealthy in the States and certainly wealthy in the world. Um, so I don't wanna be one of those people who's, oh, I've, I've, I've had it so hard in my life because of all these issues and stuff like that. I think that's where it comes from. Right? Probably. It makes sense anyways. Yeah, the need to quantify that I'm not special is very strange. gonna marinate on that man yeah it's weird because it the biggest one is social anxiety like I've talked before I, I had a revelation that this is something that I struggle with immensely which is a weird dichotomy with how I've grown as a person in the past like eight years. and But in that same time, I've realized how immensely I struggle with social anxiety in almost every single social interaction that I have outside of my inner circle. Um, and I think that's, this is the best example of whenever I talk about it, 
I don't want people to think that I feel like I'm some specially troubled soul because obviously others deal with the same thing. But then why do I even care about that? I mean, like, why should I care if I come off that way to others? I don't, I know that I don't feel that way, so why do I need to qualify that in almost every thought that I have about my struggles in life? I, like, chop it at the knees that it's not special. It's a... Because, I mean, it's true. Here I am doing it now. I know it's not. I know it's true. So far, I've not had any, like, profound difficulties in my life. I mean, I, I had depression, but lots of people do. Um, there's not been like a specific event that I've had to overcome that's particularly unique. <laughs> and I'm just, you know. So the reason I keep stopping and staring off into space is I'm thinking to myself, is this something that I need to work on? Should I stop doing this? This clarifying that I am not special? Should I stop doing it? Probably a little. Probably a little. But I don't think it's unhealthy. I don't think so. I think it's good. It's... I... I pride myself on remaining grounded, right? On being reasonable and trying to think things through before I react to them emotionally, and this is a part of that. Constantly reminding myself that, because I, I think I do have a little bit of an ego. It's, Vidi's like the only one that would agree. The person who knows me probably best. It's not a crazy ego, it's just like, I'm good at arguing and I know it. So I've, and then I feel like I'm right all the time and I, lately in my adult life I've been, when I discovered, this was I was like 22, I discovered that I was really good at arguing and debating to the point where I was doing it and not even, like, in a manipulative sense really, and not even realizing how extreme I was doing it. And, and because of that, now I'm in a similar vein, bringing it back, in a similar vein, I need to ground myself constantly. So I'm constantly reminding myself that I'm not on any sort of social, again, that I'm not special in my struggles, I guess. I don't know if everything that I just mumbled on about the past two minutes is right, because I don't think that's why I do it, but maybe. Clearly this is something I have to marinate on, so I'm going to stop it for now. <laughs>